What's it like being an adjunct professor? Before I get into my day-to-day -day routine, let's start by explaining just what an adjunct professor is. It might surprise you to learn that the majority of college professors teaching in America today are adjunct instructors. This may not be true of all colleges, and it may not be true of your college, but overall, adjuncts are becoming the growing majority, while tenured professors are rapidly dwindling into the minority. What exactly is an adjunct professor? Adjuncts are more commonly known as part-time instructors at colleges. They have the exact same degrees as their tenured counterparts, the same qualifications, and the exact same job requirements. But they are paid considerably less, and in most cases receive little or no benefits. Adjuncts are not tenured, and in most cases never will be. But it isn't just about tenure. Adjuncts typically work on a semester-by-semester -semester basis and have no assurance that they'll be asked back the following semester. Adjuncts aren't fired, they simply are not rehired. You're probably beginning to see why adjuncts are vastly becoming the majority on college campuses. Why hire a full-time professor when you have to give them things like health care, reasonable job assurances, vacation time, sick leave, and other benefits, when you can just hire two adjuncts to do the exact same work at a reduced rate and no benefit? That's right, adjuncts typically receive little to no benefits. Even those that are fortunate to work at a college that offers some benefits to part-time workers usually receive staggering less than their full-time counterparts. So what's it like being an adjunct? I work at two different colleges in order to cobble together a full-time wage from two part-time jobs. I've always hated being called a part-time professor because it implies I work less or teach fewer classes than a full-time teacher, when in fact I teach the same number of classes, if not more, the same level of classes and spend an enormous amount of time in my car driving back and forth between institutions. The most common concession to adjuncts is that since they are earning so much less than their full-time counterparts, they typically do not have to attend meetings. This is actually a really bad thing. If professors aren't attending meetings, then many of them are likely becoming out of touch with department requirements, curriculum direction, and all other beneficial aspects of department meetings, let alone simply being connected with their colleagues. Having a majority of your professors never attending meetings isn't good for the university or the students. But it would mean paying the adjuncts extra for their time, and the whole point of adjuncts is to pay them less. Can't the adjuncts just attend the meetings anyway? Certainly, at most colleges, the adjuncts are welcome to join any meeting they like, but they are doing so for free. Typically, people don't want to work for free, and it isn't fair to expect someone with a graduate degree teaching at a university to do so. Besides, I might have only an hour to get to my other job at the other college, so I can't stay for the meeting. Which brings me to schedule. Adjuncts have very little say about their schedule, and they have to coordinate somehow their inflexible schedule between two or maybe even three districts. Adjuncts know they are just a name on a list, and if they are unavailable to teach a particular class, then the department is going to call the next name on the list and offer the class to someone else. So there's immense pressure to accept whatever you're given. And what are you given? Well, whatever the full-timers don't want to teach. You have no priority over them whatsoever, so you are left with what is essentially the least desirable class at the least desirable time. That intellectually stimulating literature survey class isn't going to an adjunct, but remedial English composition at 7.30 in the morning is. So being an adjunct professor can be very, very hard and also very, very demoralizing. If you're lucky, you learn how to navigate the uncertain waters and try and cobble a full life together out of two halves. But it isn't much in the way of a career. More than anything, I'd describe being an adjunct as being invisible. I've worked at one of my districts for 10 years now. I pour myself into my classes and get glowing student evaluations and teacher observations, but my chair and my dean don't even know what I look like. I'm just a name they email class availability to, and adjuncts like me are the growing majority. So I walk around this campus like a ghost. My classes come and go, their times shift, the students seem to quickly disappear, and no one in administration really knows who I am. My name isn't even listed on the class schedule. Classes taught by adjuncts are usually just listed as staff, and so that's who I am, professor staff. 